Howdy and welcome back. Before we get into today's uh, topic, binary files, I want to do a brief review of some of the implications of serializing our objects in the plain text format. So recall that you know when we're working on our computers, we're essentially working in uh, base two. All of our data is going to be stored in binary, though the same value can be stored in many different ways. For instance, we could code the integer value 1,122 as individual ASCII characters, one, one, two, two. The ASCII values of uh, these as characters, so just to enforce this, character data, so let's say these are character literals, the ASCII value would be 49, 49, 50, and 50. When we're encoding in plain text files, we're storing all of our data as a sequence of one byte characters. So this integer value is stored as the characters one, one, two, two. The advantage of this are files with very simpler structure that are readily readable by both us and many applications. In plain text formats, when using character representation, we must apply a character to represent the end of a number in memory, similarly to how we do this on paper. For instance, if we wrote out one, two, three, four, five, six, we'd consider that as one number. There's no space um, in between separating the digits of one number from another, it's a complete number. However, if we had a white space between say the three and the four, we'd interpret this as two separate numbers, one, two, three, and then four, five, six. So 123, 456. This means that those white spacing uh, characters must be encoded in our uh, representation of um, when we're serializing to the plain text format. So when we're reading or writing from a file, default IO streams are always going to deal with character representations. So if you had an integer number, it's going to take that number if we're writing out to a file and decompose it into a sequence of characters. IO stream reads a sequence of character, uh, input, uh, an input stream reads a sequence of characters and essentially turns them into an object of the desired type. And if we're dealing with the user defined type, we're going to define how that conversion is going to take place. Likewise, an output stream is going to take an object of a specified type and transform it into a sequence of characters when writing it out. And again, for user defined type, we're going to have to go ahead and define what this means. It is possible to request an I stream or an O stream to simply copy bytes to and from files. And we'll get into this soon, but, and that's going to be called binary IO. 